It's a week before the second biggest stock car race in all of the Arkansas Elite Series here at Indianapolis. The Indy 250 is next week. However, this is the first time we get to see some cars on track as this is a voluntary test. Uh, you'll get to see some of the uh, teams out there. Some teams have brought special schemes and we'll continue to see them. Uh, there's Sean Perkins, the American 700 winner. There's Alan Cavagnaro in his normal 98 car. Uh, Sean Angel's back in the three car, and it looks like, oh, Jacob Hart's going to be the first one out of the pits in the Interstate Batteries 19 car. And he gets out of the pits. We're going to see what's going to happen. So here comes Hart out of the pits. This is going to be important as, uh, he's getting up to speed pretty nicely there. There's Fabrosis coming out of the pits. They're dead set on getting good runs, Discover Ohio is. Here comes McCain out of the pits. Myatt's coming out. Here he is with Kenny Myatt. You gotta slow down for the access road, and then he can merge on the track right here. This is also a special one car. You may not be able to see it, but that is an autism awareness paint scheme on that car. Uh, maybe there you can see it a little bit. I know it's pretty quick, but... Uh, uh, from the roof cam, you'll be able to see it. As you can see, there's the uh, patented puzzle pieces for autism awareness. So, Kenny Mike's a very big supporter of that. And uh, we're going to go on board his helmet cam. Listen to that V6 turbo scream here around Indianapolis. We got some highlights to get to, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Kyle Nova and uh, Jordan Davis have said that they would help each other get through the order a little bit here and uh, get as much data as possible. These cars are both going to be trying to get as much uh, stuff as possible. There's uh, Myatt once again, Matt Duncan. McCain's here, uh, per Pericles is here, Pollard's here. They're only bringing, Action Terror's only bringing two cars because Bouchon is the competition director. Jacob Hart, this this pack will be quick. Uh, third fastest for Jacob Hart, and I believe, uh, well, no, they didn't. Who's fastest car on the track is actually Nathan McCain in the nine. Oh, somebody's blowing up already, it looked like. That's Silver Fox in the Breast Cancer Awareness 91 car. Tough break for him. Uh, a lot of uh, schemes like that are going to be expected. There's the other Breast Cancer Awareness car of Cody Lamas in the 48 car. Uh, so the 91 BMW, known for their reliability, has blown up. Uh, we're going to go on board and see what happened. On board with... Oh, yeah, just it just once he shifted up into fourth gear, it just went on him. No power, and you can hear it just winding down. And he's just coasting it now. You can see he's struggling to get that car back around, but... Possibly a gearbox problem on that car, and there's some smoke coming out of it. I'd start thinking about bailing out of that one there, son. Get out of that car there. Just pull off to the side. Here's quite possibly my favorite car on the grid right now. Ike Durbin's uh, third... Durban Sport car, that is the two car, and uh, that two car looks really quick, uh, and it's very nice looking that 32, that two car is, it was one of the cars there, and Ike Durban, this is of course his home race, so uh, third Durban Sport, Audi's not showing up this weekend, they're prepping for next season, and they don't want to wreck too much equipment, but he's battling, I believe that's with applicable call, yes that is, uh, Ike Durbin right now, though, is 17th fastest, which isn't good out of 26 cars that are here. The American 700 pole setter, Cooper Siron, second on the board. Proof that those Horizon Group cars are quick. Uh, Perkins, had to, that is the car that Siron ran the American 700 with. Um, Perkins had to get out his backup car from the American 700 because, of course, his car is away in the... Uh, Museum down in Fontana. Uh, all the cars are mandated to stay down there for a year. And, uh, well, Perkins couldn't get his uh, main car back. But uh, this is his backup car. Uh, he said his backup car wasn't that strong at uh, Fontana, so they're going to have a lot of work to do on it here. But Siron, once again, is proving his speed. He's going to be in a good ride next season. Kenny Mai in the one car is the fastest car on track right now. What a shock there. 
He's really determined to get all three of his cars on the grid for this race after only one of them made the American 700 and it did quite poorly as he's stepping out on Shelton. There's contact! Oh man, Myatt's not playing around. I think Myatt just effectively told Shelton to get out of the way and, uh, well, didn't pay off nicely for Shelton who's 15th on the board, but... There's Jordan Davis back there. He's in 7th on the board. Kyle Nova, the outside pole sitter, is 19th on the board. And 8th on the board to Aaron Perkins in the 99. She was in the 95 for the American 700. And it looks like uh, Ka uh, Nova's coming into the pits. So Kyle Nova brings it down pit road. But that is a nice uh, scheme there for Myatt on the one car. Good to see... Uh, a worthy cause being on the grid as he's gotten bumped by somebody I believe that might have been maybe Siron maybe who bumped my it uh, fast car on the track is actually one of the Porsches that's Sean Angel in his return is the fastest car on track on board with the driver of the one car we're seeing what these uh, cars can do here look at the speedometer on the top it was in, went up to 222 miles an hour there but then, uh, because these cars don't have as much, uh, grip as they would like, they're more power, straight line power than grip through the corner here. They do have to back off the throttle quite a bit to get through the corners, but we're going to see what this draft can do. My, it might be getting a draft off. I believe that's one of the, uh, Thunders up there. None of the Thunder cars from the American 700 uh, made the race, so they're here trying to make sure that they do make the race here. Uh, a little bit of a different qualifying order. The top 25 will be locked in on speed. Or top 24, 25, 24 will be locked in on speed. And then everybody else has to go through the qualifiers instead of the top 10. So a uh, few more faster cars that I think are worthy of making the grid. Because I believe that the majority of the Thunder cars would have made it then. Because they were in the top 25. But you're starting to see how quick Myatt is. As he's really closing in now on the... Uh, Thunder up there. I believe that is the 51 of William Duncan, uh, the team owner of that team. We're going to see if Maya can get a run here with Duncan. It's more about handling right now, and uh, it looks like Maya, uh, this car isn't exactly the, well, it's one of the fastest through the straight line I've noticed, but down the in the corners he's been losing a ton of speed. On board with Ike Durbin as he's coming out of the pits. Back into the fray of things. That V6 turbo right around 6,000 RPM sounds amazing. Not gonna lie. When that car's revving up and it's down in 6,000 RPMs, it sounds great. Here's Myatt now. You'll hear the engines again. I'm gonna shut up so you can hear this. That sound of this thing, of one of these cars revving up is amazing. Now, granted, the Ranmo turbines are different because they don't make any noise, but Myatt's out with Hart now. Hart was one of the fastest cars in the American 700. That is his American 700 car that they've retrofitted for Indianapolis up there. Myatt, I think, has actually done the most laps on any car right now. It's times like this I wish they had a fifth gear because they could use one right here. Here he comes. Oh, there's Perkins coming out of the pits. That was a bit crazy there by Maya trying to pass. Uh, that's Emma White. I don't believe White's teammates here either, so... That's interesting. I believe they only brought one car. Oh, it looks like Hart's coming in. Here's uh, Kazuki Takamoto. He's coming out of the pits. And uh, this is another race where he's got to be strong, but he's down at 24th out of 26. I believe that the only car that's... Or the couple of cars are, that are worse are actually the... Uh, 
CBMs. The CBMs have been having engine trouble, though. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if, uh, they get those issues fixed rather soon. The, uh, CBMs do. But they're quite a bit off the pace right now, but... Good thing they came to testing, because those cars don't seem to be liking the stress that this track has been putting on them. The two CBMs don't. On board with Ike Durbin. He's not the fastest car we've seen today, but... He's doing all right, I'll say that. Good to see some of these guys out here testing, though. This is what they need to do. This is one test session. It's technically a tire test, but really everybody's just using this for diagnostics, really. I'm not sure why more cars didn't come out here for this, but... Good to see them out here. Another thing about Kenny Myatt's car is, if you look at the front and the rear of it, it doesn't look like the Accords you're used to seeing. This is a prototype Accord that the Discover Ohio's planning on using next year. So, uh, Myatt's bringing out the big game for this race, and, uh... Right now, his car's way faster than his teammates have noticed, although... McCain's actually been really strong here. Fabrosis is battling with Angel, who's been bumped off the top of the chart. I gotta see who got on the top. I believe it might have been Siron. Siron or... No, it wasn't Siron. Maybe Perkins? Yeah, it was Perkins. Apparently that backup card isn't too bad, is it?